Hi, I'm Mark Hitchko from the New Brunswick Chamber Orchestra. And I'm Amanda Potter from the Zimmerly Art Museum. And together we're presenting a six-part program called Subversives, where we explore artists and composers who win against the grain. We hope you'll enjoy today's program and come visit the museum or one of NBCO's great concerts coming soon. Without a doubt, the greatest subversive on our program today is Ignatius Sancho. Sancho was born as a slave, and at a young age, when his parents died, his enslavers sent him to work for three young women in England, where he remained the remainder of his days. He was in the service of this family for 18 years, and fortunately for the young Sancho, the Lord Montague was also friends with this family, and he took keen interest in the young boy and was impressed by his intellect. He encouraged the sisters to allow him to learn how to read and write. And after 18 years, Sancho escaped from that family and ultimately joined the Montague household, where he remained in their service for the greater portion of his life. Lady Montague, who was similar to depiction here, took great kindness to him and ultimately allowed him his own freedom and even funded him so he was able to explore other options, such as a career in the arts, where he was able to be an actor and dancer. He was also an active composer and writer, writing many influential letters talking about the evils of slavery. His writings had a profound influence on the abolitionist movement in England and had a direct impact on the freeing of slaves throughout the empire. The work you're about to hear is from the last portion of his life, he wrote 12 country dances. We'll hear six of them. We're standing in the exhibition, Stitching Time, the Social Justice Collaboration Quilts Project. The Quilts Project was founded by Maureen Kelleher and her good friend Kenya. Maureen Kelleher is an artist and activist and private investigator who've worked, who's worked on numerous uh, wrongful conviction cases over the year. And Kenya is a man who is currently incarcerated in the Louisiana State Penitentiary known as Angola. Along with other incarcerated individuals, they've come together to make quilts that tell the story of black history, memory, and social justice in the United States, like this example here, Harriet Tubman, Footsteps to Freedom. This work uh, features a central image of Harriet Tubman, which is actually also quilted um, with another collaborator, Sharif. And along the side there, you see in yellow, numerous portraits of other abolitionist figures, including Frederick Douglass and Sojourner Truth. And those were hand-drawn by Kenya and then quilted together. I selected this work because it features the abolitionist movement in the United States and ties very nicely to Ignatius Sancho, who is a critical figure in the abolitionist movement in the United Kingdom.
Thank you. 